Hey guys, in today's Faction Request episode, we take a look at Bart Kostad's drum groove from The Sky Is Red by Leprous, specifically the drum playthrough version. This is part 1 of a two-part series, and in part 1, we're going to first break down the basic drum groove, then move on to some finer details. Let's take a look at the notes. The groove is made up of a lot of interplay between both hands and you definitely want a decent mastery of singles and doubles to play this smoothly. Next, we add these accents to the hi-hats. This will make it trickier to pull off, especially at 140 BPM. In my opinion, these accents are what gives life to the groove, and helps it from becoming too monotonous because it goes on for a long time. To play these last two accents, I use a flick of my wrist, so that my left hand never goes completely over to the hi-hat. However, Bart does it the usual way. It depends on your setup really. Bart's hi-hat is right next to his first tom and snare. So going over to the hi-hat with his left hand is feasible. Whereas my hi-hat is positioned quite far from my snare and tom because of my double pedal. You can see that Bart doesn't use the double pedal for this song and thus has it kept under his snare so that he can position his hi-hat stand closer. Just choose what's best for your own setup. Let's get on to the groove with the accents applied. That's it for part 1. In part 2, we'll take a look at some sneaky groove variations as well as fills, and also examine the relationship between the guitar riff and the drum groove to better understand how these drum parts are made up. If you like my work and want to request videos like this one, head over to my Patreon page and join the Art of Drumming faction. You will also get other exclusive perks. In the meantime, don't stop dreaming and don't stop drumming. <laughs>